And speaking of uh, benefits and whatnot, uh, we got on the line a very nice gentleman by the name of Don Smith, who is the founder of the All American Veteran Services. And we want to talk about veteran unemployment levels. Don, how are you de- doing today? I'm doing great, Dwayne. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks so much for being on the show. So tell us a little bit about your organization. Uh, what we do is we actually help veterans start new businesses. So we're partnered with LegalZoom.com and Regis, and we put together a package for veterans with new businesses. We help them with the paperwork. We cover all the costs of that, put them up in an office space for six months. And we also, one thing that's really unique about what we do is we provide them a mentor, which is uh, a leading CEO of a major corporation in many cases. We've got, for example, we've got the former head of the v- Veterans Administration, uh, Jim Nicholson, mm-hmm. who, who works with these people, and they stay with them because we don't want to just set them up in business, but we actually want them to succeed. Absolutely. Um, so that's, I think, really the key aspect to what we do is give them somebody that they can talk to and ask questions and bounce ideas off of. Now, is this available for any veteran, or is this just for veterans of the current conflicts? No, and, and that, that's a great question. That's why we're all American veterans. So awesome. it's all veterans, any war, any gender, it, it doesn't matter who you are. As long as you're a veteran, you serve your country honorably, uh, you're eligible for this anywhere in the country. Oh, man, that sounds good. I'm a veteran myself. I think, I think I'll think i be giving you a call. <laughs> <laughs> great. Tell me a little bit about what are the current unemployment rate for veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan? That's something that's really, I think, very disturbing right now is the rates are uh, – that's significantly higher than the national average. So right now you're looking at about 10.9% wow. for returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. But if you break that down, you look into the demographics of it, mm-hmm. uh, under the age of 25, it's over 20% right now. Wow. That's amazing. That's that just amazing. And, and we need to do something about that. But, you know, thinking about that, what, what about the disparity? How did the disparity compare with veterans who served in the previous? Because, like, I was in during the 80s. Yeah, and, and that's, again, that's another thing that's disturbing, and there's many reasons, I think, for it. But right now, the, the disparity is, is very great. It used to not be the case. People, I think employers more used to look at somebody coming out of the military as somebody with discipline, right. you know, pay attention to detail, and they kind of gave them a, almost a leg up, if you will. Uh, but now that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, and so the disparity is much greater than it's ever been. Mm, mm. And uh, is there any particular dem- demographic that is impacted by this problem within veterans? Yeah, I mean, uh, the age under 25 is, okay. is the biggest one because you're looking at over 20% unemployment for wow. that group right there. And, and then as you go up in age, um, it gets closer to the national average. So okay. for the under 25 group, that's, that's just un- unheard of. 